Hi there, it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today we're going to be doing something a little different. As you might have noticed, I've got some fabric here in front of me. Really beautiful Christmas holly fabric here. A Christmas, they call that a baroque, but I just think it's beautiful with the gold on it. The beautiful holly leaves on the dark green and then this gorgeous gold as well. So what we're going to be doing with this is making some napkins for the Christmas table. So for my main fabric is going to be this beautiful holly and then I'm going to use a piece of this on uh, so I've got three different designs. So let's get going. So the first thing we need to do is cut some fabric out. So I want to do these at 16 inches by 16 inches square. I want them to feel quite luxurious. Now you can see there's quite a lot of creasing in here so before we cut I'm going to press my fabric just to get the worst of this out because I think it does make it easier for cutting. So I'll go and do that and I'll come back. You don't want to see me pressing. <laughs> so first of all I'm just going to straighten off this edge down the side here. You can't see the top it's obviously a little bit big but I've got a selvage edge on the top there so I know that's straight so I've lined that across the top of one of the lines on my mat then I've taken one of the red lines on my ruler here and I've lined that up with the selvage edge and with one of the lines at the top on my on my mat as well so I'm then going to go down that edge and just cut that so that it's straight now so I do want to just check that those edges are square by using my mat here just to check against the white lines and it looks okay. So now I want to cut this at the 16 inch mark. Okay so here is our first piece cut. Okay so now we're going to cut the next piece. So I thought I'd use the first one as a template because I popped my first piece down into this piece like so and then all I'm going to need to do is just make sure I don't move it but then cut along these edges and also obviously making sure that I'm not cutting over the bit that I've just done that I'm now using as a template because that would be really annoying there we go Very carefully just turn this around. Okay so that is our second piece nicely cut so I'm now going to carry on and do the others and then when it's all done I will come back to you. Okay so that's all six pieces done so that will make three napkins so obviously you need to cut as many layers as you need for the number of napkins that you want. I had this fabric already and I didn't have enough to do the same on each for the back and I actually quite like the idea anyway of doing the different colours on the back. It's kind of something a bit more individual. You've got the um, kind of consistency with this lovely holly fabric here but then this just gives it a little bit of a different edge to it so I think that would be quite fun. So now we need to get on to the next bit so what you want to do is grab a back and grab a front and then you want to put them together right sides together and marry them up nicely. So then what I'm going to do you can either pin but I'm going to use these little clips that I've got. These are designed for sewing as far as I'm aware. Make sure the clips um, are the same way around. So the coloured side up, whichever way that would be for you. Because the, um, the other side is flat. So you don't want to have, have mix it up because it does make it easier. Obviously you have to remove them as you get to them. But uh, yeah, it just makes it a bit simpler. Okay, so that's all three done. The other two are popped to the side. So now we're going to take this to the sewing machine and we're going to sew around all four sides except a chunk about that much 
on one side just a rough I a rough amount so that we can turn it in the right way afterwards so you want to do just as I said all those sides um, just missing that piece at a quarter inch okay so let's get to the sewing machine okay so I know that's a little bit of an odd angle but if I did it sort of straight down you wouldn't see what was going on here so I thought that might be more helpful so i am got a cream thread and a white bobbin okay so I'm going to stitch this at a quarter inch so I want to start a little bit in so that we take that into account now I don't want to go crazy fast because it's just gonna I don't want to catch the edge or go wonky I want it to be nice and even and I'm not like expert sew or anything so and then we just want to pull those off as we go stop obviously on the corner here at about a quarter inch from the other side with your needle in lift your foot pivot on that needle and then you should be ready for the next side so I'm going to carry on with the uh, next two sides what I did was I started in the corner it would have been better to start sort of here where I'm planning my hole to be so that I could carry on in one go but anyway not to worry it is what it is <laughs> okay so that's the three sewn so now what we want to do is just take our scissors and let me find the darker one because it's easier to see I think you can see here where the stitching goes around the corner we just want to trim off that corner there so not cutting through the stitching obviously um, but just to trim that off so that when we turn it inside to the correct way um, it will um, not be so bulky in the corners okay so that's those all done and then we want to find our opening and we just want to very carefully turn this through to the right way you don't want to do it carefully because you don't want to rip the seam that you've just stitched uh, uh, this bit here because that would be really annoying because at the moment it's probably not as secure so you could start to undo it and then you want to make sure the corners are really popped out okay Doesn't that look nice so now what we need to do is stitch this hole but we also want to top stitch all the way around which will hold this nice and flat around these edges here so we're going to press this and we're going to fold this in this seam here where the gap is a quarter of an inch and press that down and then we want to flip it over and do exactly the same on this red piece and then just making sure that that is correct you know you don't, what you want is that it's actually lined up properly when you're going to stitch it so you don't. and then I'm going to go around on all of these sides and just press this all out so it's nice and crisp okay so there's that one done so I'm gonna do the other two and then we'll come back and do the next step okay so I have changed the top thread to red and left the bobbin white because that's fine on this reverse side but obviously the red would look a lot better on this side so just put a couple of those on just to make sure it stays and doesn't kind of 
move over as we go across because it's loose I found that the top would tend to go a little so I'm going to do that side first so I'm starting obviously this is an eighth of an inch so I'm starting over from my quarter inch line if you've got marks for that then that obviously makes it a bit easier I'm saying eighth of an inch I'm kind of just guessing to a certain extent I'm just assuming the center line here on my needle is zero as it were and the quarter inch shop is a quarter inch so somewhere between the two is about the eighth but can't be a hundred percent but it isn't that fussy so then all we're doing is our top stitching here just to make this stay in place nicely so a few stitches forward a couple back just to make sure it's going to stay. Now this first little bit I found you just need to give it a bit of help because you're right in that corner so it needs just a bit of assistance to get going. That may be just me. Now because we're on this first side I want to go nice and gently not too fast because we've got that bit that isn't stitched. Just edge of this bit here. So let's take that first clip and we're just arriving at it now so I want to be sure that it's over properly and I don't want to be allowing the red to creep forward too much which is what I found before. and tight and then at the corner as before just twist it around couple of stitches back couple of stitches forward and pull this out and then you can see on the back with the white thread and then on the front well the point is I guess you can't really see the red okay so then I just want to snip these threads off and give it a final press and then I'll show you them okay so here they are done that's the three opposite sides as it were and then we've got this on the reverse isn't it gorgeous? I'm just, what I would say is that I have got of course the blog post that will go with this video so for each one just make sure for each video but I'm saying not each napkin but for each video do make sure you go across to that blog post because there's always a ton of photos on there for you and information about products used and everything so it's definitely worth doing that anyway so here they are you can see the two sides as well now and I think it looks really really nice I hope that you've enjoyed this as something a little different and I would love if you do decide to make some of these yourself I'd love to see some photos of them thanks so much for watching and I will see you again soon and don't forget to go on across to the blog post to see everything and also you can subscribe to me there so you will get email notification every time I post a video um, but if you prefer to stay on YouTube then just please if you're not say click on the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the little bell as well so that you get the notifications through properly. All right, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye for now, bye.